Mm. Not what? Because race couch. I know. Hashtag race couch. All right, what's up, guys? So this is episode two of Ethan's garage. This guy's garage. I'm, I'm not even pointing. Hey guys. So this uh, today we are changing the spark nubs on my <laughs> on my. Oh wait, SCI. So oh, spark nubs. Spark nubs. <laughs> this video is not going to be anywhere near as long as this process will be, but you guys will get the gist of it. Ready to have some fun, Ethan? Yeah. I'm, I'm ready, ready to throw it down. Stoked. All right, you got the race blankets on it. What are these even called? Wait, what's the technical term for these? Gosh, I can't remember. I'll just call them race blankets. Fender covers? Fender covers. So what even what even happens first? I'm gonna start taking stuff off. No, just, basically you've got to <laughs> just take just things that are in the way off. So okay. obvious stuff, intake, yep. uh, charge piping, battery. Good. Um, just little stuff, it's not complicated, but it does. it is time consuming. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is take the intake off and then move to the battery okay. uh, and then get this, this charge pipe off here. So, cool. which isn't too much of a job, but we'll take a little bit of time. So here is the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a list of just parts, not parts, <laughs> tools you guys are gonna be using, at least that we're using for my car. Uh, now, you have to keep in mind, tools are gonna be a little bit different, you know, depending on your car as well. So, got your ratchets, a couple extensions, smaller extension right here. So I'm be looking in my camera when I'm saying this. You got a 10 millimeter open-ended, and then we got uh, one of each. Uh, so you got a 12 and 10 millimeter uh, short and longer socket. We got this guy right here because the battery is well, how you say, really impossible to get to. It's, it's a very, it's, you need a very deep socket to get to that. So what we did was we used. Uh, we use that, but you can use the open-ended. Uh, you can kind of twist it off a little bit, and then uh, you can use a deeper socket, but that's a very, very deep socket, so we got, you're able to use that. Uh, gap tool, this is for, well, I mean, checking gap. We got this guy right here, which is what we used. This is a different driver uh, that we used for removing and installing spark plugs because it's a little bit deeper. This is a little elbow, this little swivel, swivel tool. Why it's taped will be answered in a minute. No socket. That's actually the 16 millimeter uh, spark plug socket. And then we got the flathead and then this freaking magnet right here is awesome. And it just picked up the screwdriver. And it's like five bucks. It's like five bucks. It just picked up the screwdriver when I picked it up. That's awesome. Let's get this, let's get this crap done. Ooh. Hey, it stretches. And it bendies. Sometimes when you're a man, you have stretchy days. <laughs> it's for fun. That's a battery, guys. It is a battery. It is a battery. We're learning. I'm taking out the coolant reservoir real quick, okay. and I'm just going to pull it off so I can get to your bottom gotcha. intercooler pipe. So yeah, your stock, your your stock Subaru is not going to look like this. Yeah, but this is a, a tad different than, than normal. You know what? Let's just relocate the battery while we're doing this. Seriously, let's just yeah. put it in the back. I've done it before. I know. It's great. This really makes me want to shave and tuck the engine bay. I know. It's this is really rough right now. It would just make everything so much easier too. Not this only stuff, just I mean, not, this stuff's easy, man. Yeah. Like we could get rid of all this stuff. But look how many lines. Like look how many lines. See, that's the what, problem that's is, yeah. My line, <laughs> Super does some funky stuff because it's box crazy, crazy stuff. Going it on has here. two fuel rails and it is a factory yeah. return system. Watch this. Ha <laughs> 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 uh, That's cool. Okay. All right. Back to work. So. Put a little towel just to clog up where the uh, throttle body is, right over the min the intake manifold. Isn't that right? That's right. Intake manifold. Man just, just because. Man that's not good if you have bugs and stuff to crawl in there. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug that up. But well, you uh, could probably get some pretty cool flames. With probably them. get some sweet flames. Flying barbecue. Flying barbecue bugs. Barbecue bugs. I really just this awkward just I this my factory bypass valve is just so awkward and it's, it's so just oh, of course. it's like hey look at this look at this look at this flaccid just shaft it is just <laughs> there I actually want to point out this is the first time that I have changed the spark plugs since the engine build which was about 20,000 miles ago but I, that was a there were about 5 to 8,000 of those miles were hard <laughs> that is nuts so All right. this is where it gets a little tricky these are not on there, usually very tight. In fact, it's already loose, almost loose. See that, I'm already turning it. But wrenches are not the most uh, friendly down in this spot because it is so tight next to the frame rails. So basically you gotta get it loose. Um, here's what I would suggest. 
taking the socket off of the actual wrench when it's loose. Okay. And then oh, sorry. getting your hand on it like that, okay. and then just spinning it the rest of the way out. So you don't have to use the wrench. Because yeah. it will, it's a slow using, process using with Using your wrench. hand, if, you, if and when you can, is always usually a yeah. better option. I should emphasize this. It's, it's not the spark plugs that are hard. It's just the fact that Subaru's positioning is so awkward. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Coal pack number one. Hey. Now, once you get that there out, we go. you probably would like to unplug it. So there's a clip on the side. Boop. Now, we want to keep these in the same order. You don't want to take them off. So when I set them down, I'm going to put them in the same order that I took them out. I grabbed the 10 because I'm an idiot. He grabbed the 10 because he's stupid. So we're using the 12 right now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this back one is a tad more tricky, maybe. I mean, it sometimes is, sometimes isn't. Mm -hmm. But you can get a wrench on it decently easily. Um, and it, they should break loose like that. Super simple. I almost put no pressure on it. So oh, another do. use for a magnet. Get it on there. See that? Huh? 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 That's nice. Take it out. Take it out. You took it out. Nice. So it's numero dos. Uh -huh. So now when I do this, set them in order. There you go. You know, front, back. So now be careful here too, because there is this is clipped in. Uh huh part of the wiring down here um, but it does this bracket connects onto the rear um, coal pack and so when you're putting it back you want to make sure and get it on there so this little bracket right there. yep and that that actually clips back on under the bolt head okay um, on on the coal so pack you guys know where that is now right so now. just remember to put that back words of Ethan this one's pretty dang easy because well, you is, can actually see it I it's mean, actually there and it's actually invisible it's already loose so I don't know if you just saw that but well, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down here you guys can see it's right there. Yep. So not bad. Not too bad. As I said, most of this video people are gonna be like, what the heck? People pause in and freaking out because they can't see anything. Well it is kind of a tough spot to video actually. Yeah. Yes, and this is this is not the smallest camera in the world. No. So it's out again. Okay. See that one easy, you easy. Just pull out. Yeah. And you just pull it off. And that's hey! Had to, have, had to happen sometime in the video. Yeah, it did. The most dissatisfying thing whenever you're working on the car is when tools fall and you don't hear it hit the ground. Right. There it goes, right there. Right there. Good. Sweet. There's all four. There we go. <laughs> oh no. Congrats. The important reason to get the right plugs is because just because you may have the right gap on it or um, they may fit inside your motor the important thing is because they actually make plugs at different temperatures and right. on a boosted motor cold. um you usually have cold, cold, one cold. or two or three even steps colder than what a normal plug might be mm -hmm. so it's definitely important to get the ones that your either tuner or oem manufacturer suggests do your research it's like wheels it's like everything it's like cars everything. like do research. Yep. Google helps people. Some people still have yet to figure out the cutting edge technology that Google has to offer. You can do what with the internet? What? All right. This one, you have to slide her in. Slide her in. Slide her in there. Taking the plugs out right now, guys. See, I just seated it on there, so I am on the spark plug. Okay. Now, the reason I do it like that is because you probably can't get the um, wrench and the uh, extension in there at the same time. So, and this should just click right in, like normal. Yep. And now that we're here, should be able to just crack them loose. Yep. Crack them loose. <laughs> You're over here doing this. I'm just like, I'm filming my car. I'm looking at it. My brain is, is awesome. All right, we finally got it out. Number one. Piece of junk. Hold on, let's see. How far. That's not too bad. No, it's really not bad. That's actually not bad at all. That's surprising. Surprisingly nice. Surprisingly nice. You should have seen the spark plug that the spark plugs that came out whenever. Oh, I oh. can't even imagine how oh. bad they were. Oh. Ow! Bump my head. <laughs> there's a there's a hood there. Yeah, it turns out. <laughs> so back at it. This one should be easier okay. to get out. Because we don't have the frame wheel as badly to contend with. I mean you do a little bit, but yeah. So status update, got that spark plug out, now we're on this one. Boom. So, it's on it, and then, see, 
see if I can get this wrench in here or not. I think I can. So all I'm gonna do is crack it loose, Boom. which is much easier like that, okay? And then pull this back off real quick because I'm afraid I won't be able to get it out if I go a whole lot farther. Like this, actually. <laughs> like this. There you go. So, and then this should be loose enough to get with your fingers now. Okay. That's what she said. So, what I'm gonna do is just grab my magnet, go down in there, see it? Actually see it coming out of the motor now. And boom, there she is. Boom. That one looks really nice too. That's crazy. Shoot, save them for a lawnmower or something. Okay. No <laughs> Those are not in bad shape. That's bad. So I'm gonna go back to the hard one again just because um, I like to do the hard ones first. You like to do hard ones. He likes it hard. Are you putting gay jokes in my voice? What are you talking about? You putting gay jokes in my mouth. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna use a swivel. Huh. And I tape mine because I like them to be sturdier than they are like from the factory. They're usually kind of too wobbly. And this adds a little bit of rigidity to it. So I'm gonna try and get this down in there and then torque it off from up above. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just shot. And it went into your airplane. Are you serious? Yeah, look at this. Look at this. How did that even happen? Alright, add one more extension to the list. And there we go. There it goes. There we go. There we go. There it goes. Okay, so that was not easy. Um, but it is loose now. All right. So here we go. Again, that is not ideal, but I got hey, it loose. Hey, you know what? It worked. You got it out. So you got the third one out. Yeah, that's all the good news I've got. Good. That's all the good. <laughs> we are at the point to where all the spark nubs are out of the motor. And we are actually checking the, what the heck? Gaps. The gaps. I just. Why, did, why did that word even Words escape my brain, guys. right? It is. These gaps standard are .027. So we're just going down to that little tiny mark right there. Mm -hmm. You can see that. So really this is pretty simple. Um, you just literally bend the metal back. So you cool. take them and push just a tad and then check on the money. <laughs> On my build, uh, I mean, I, th I guess that's just a good spec, uh, a good spec to have it at. But we're ga we're gapping them to 0 0.025, 0 0.025 because a couple of them looked like they were getting a little hot. So yeah, we're gonna try so, and take care of that. that. And we're gonna put the nubs back in there. Actually, they're not nubs. They're they're plugs. Actually, the old ones weren't actually nubs. Hold on, let's see. But it's funny to say nubs. It's funny to say nubs and duds, spark duds, hard duds. This, this little guy ran a little hot. But Spark that's okay. buds. You can actually say any three little word that ends in uds. Uds? Studs? Funny. Spark studs? Studs. That's, that's, that's more than three letters. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so. Fly a power! <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm serious now. Um, I'm, I got her in there, got her in the hole. She got her in the hole. And I'm Go just gonna finger tighten them all the way down and you really once you get there only need to go about a quarter turn past tight quarter um, turn past tight all right they've got a they've got a crush washer on these particular spark plugs uh -huh. so that's nice you don't really need to go much farther than farther. than that it even says on the box believe it or not so finger tight quarter turn that's kind of cool kind of cool so that's pretty sweet um it actually says half to two thirds but you know Hey, okay, you know what? You cool. just you just want to make sure they're snug. You don't ever have to go crazy because you have to remember the head is aluminum, yeah. and if you go too hard, aluminum it, is very soft. It's not a good material to try and torque down on super heavy. Hard enough to where you can't chew it, but it's soft enough to where it sucks. <laughs> where you can't chew it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right, so status update, we have done two out of the four spark plugs, and Ethan actually made a pretty cool discovery. Where'd, where'd you put it? Where'd you go? 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 Huh? So he discovered that it's a great idea to put the swivel right on the 16 because, well, as you can see, it sucks I'm trying to reach in there. So if you're doing this, go ahead and try it that way instead of the way we did it earlier. Even though the way we did it earlier worked. This is just easier. This is just easier. Much easier. And this is America. And this is America. We want to do things the easy way. Just tighten them in right now and the blanket's about to fall. Don't do it. They don't do it. 
it. Oh, it's gonna do it. It's gonna do it. Nope. Okay. Mother of Dan. Mother of Dan. Mother of Steve. Whoa. What did Steve ever do to you? Get this thing refocused. Okay, come on. You know, this camera is... This is the perfect camera for me because it can never focus. <laughs> Damn it. That was a funny joke. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. The most important thing about working on a car is being able to reverse what you did the first time to what you're doing now. This is true. If you can just if you can redo the things you undid, then you're good. Choose your brain. You lose your noggin. Use your noggin. While you guys were hating on the on the race couch the other time. Actually it wasn't hate. Sure. They're just I think it's jealousy. I think it's, it's jealousy. Raw, undiluted, pure jealousy. Pure jealousy, straight up. <laughs> All right. I understand. I mean, it is pretty freaking awesome. It is. It is. I mean, the, I don't know. It's just the concept of sitting in a There's couch. There's basically nothing more bad. I can sit on a couch, and hanging out with your super homies. comfy, and then look what I'm yeah. looking at right now. Look at this. Race car. And Ethan. Hi. Look at my pants. They're pretty sweet, aren't they? <laughs> nice. Custom. Custom. And the flops. Tornado Black strikes again. So we're putting the battery back in, then we have, well then the intercooler piping, then the intake, and it should be good. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, just race car parts. Just race car parts. That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> Sizes are hard. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> I guess, okay, everything's back together? Yeah, everything's back awesome. together. Awesome. <laughs> it's kind of a race car again. Kind of. Is that is that tight enough? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Good. Master's double checking everything. I like. All right. Well, I don't even know what to say. That Very took fun. a long time. How many? How, how how actually how long did that take? Hour and a half probably work. Hour and a half of work plus pizza time. Yeah, plus, pizza time. That was. Plus Netflix or Hulu. We or, did watch it, watch an entire episode of Brooklyn Nine Nine. We did do that. So it took a little bit longer than than we wanted to. But uh, on I a mean, side note. This K block is going into his car. When are you getting your car back? Uh, hopefully, end of this week. I mean, we'll see. Okay. Well, it's going to happen, and you guys are going to see it, okay. and you're going to your minds are going to explode. I'm gonna get the manifold. We need to see your car parts. I know. Turn around here. <laughs> That's nice. And K290. Throttle body is just disgustingly awesome. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. Well. That was the lengthy process of the spark plugs on my 2008 STI. There will be definitely more things in here, like I said. We have the K block going into his S2000. His S2000 has lots of stuff. And there are just things going on in this garage that will blow your mind all the time. So I know you guys loved this last time, so I hope you liked it just as much this time. And I hope you love it in the future. If not more! If not more. Also, I want to point out that. You should always make sure your intercooler piping is always completely <laughs> secure <laughs> because we forgot to tighten down this guy and when I was driving it just goes poof, explosion. Not explosion actually, but that was pretty fun. So I put that back in here, put back here in his garage and uh, now everything's fine. So until next time, see until you guys. Until next time. Until next time. Did you, ever watch, did you watch The Office, didn't you? Yeah. Sometimes I feel like Michael Scott when he was like, sometimes I start a sentence and I don't know where I'm going with it. I just kind of just go. I keep, just keep talking. And, you know, wherever it goes, wherever a sentence takes me, it just happens. That's kind of, it's, it's really, honestly, what actually happens. A lot. I start talking.